Hello and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. So today I'm going to be doing some a little project, and what I'm going to be doing is restoring my flymo lawnmower. Now it's not just any you know, any old flymo flymo. You might be thinking, oh, what's the point of restoring a flymo? But it's it. The flymo is actually built roughly between 1972 and 1978, so it's quite an old flymo. I've still got to determine which exact model it is, but it's very old, very old, and it deserves a bit of uh, attention, I think. So, I'm going to start stripping it down and um, repairing it. So, I'll do the strip down today, and it'll be tomorrow for me, but for you, it'll be in a few seconds, so I'm going to include it into one video. But, so today, at least for me, it'll be stripped down and possibly doing some paint work on it, especially that handle. The handle's all rusted, so that needs to be. That needs to be um, um that needs to be seen to, so we need to get it repaired and back from rust again, so and we're gonna start taking it down, stripping it down. It would probably be the better word. So I see you in a minute. Oh I would like to see one before we get into the fit into the footage. If you don't mind subscribing to the channel and liking the videos if you like and subscribe helps to see this channel to grow and yeah, more quality content comes up. Here we go. And this is the fly mower in question. Okay. I'm not going for picture perfect. I'm not going for picture perfect. But as long as um, you know, it's nice and presentable, that's all that matters really. So I will get more pins from these, but you see the little R pins, I think that's what I call them. But unfortunately I can't get hold of any at the minute because the place I work doesn't stock them and you're gonna any up both sides. And they are taking a long time to come into stock. Now, there are a few little blemishes on the cable. So I'm going to be opening that split up and soldering it properly. This here is the wires come out. So again, I'll be looking at that. And you see the handle should be white. And it's not. It's roughed. So I'm going to be taking this all apart. Giving it a good go over and spraying it white again. And hopefully, they look quite nice when it's done. There's all little bits down here as well. So, I'm going to get my tool get out and we're going to disassemble the whole thing. Okay, so what I've decided I'm going to do first is actually um, not strip it down straight away. I'm actually going to wire brush the frame. So, I don't normally wear them, but I'm going to wear glasses or goggles in case any bits of the wire brush decide to fling off into my eyes it wouldn't be so good and I'm just going to wire brush down all the frame as much as you can first and then I'll disassemble it after Already quite a uh, fast improvement. Load it down, it's going to be a bit easier to keep some wobbling about, hopefully. I also then break it down and stop my arm like this. It'll be down like this, so hopefully my arm won't get tired as easily. And if it wobbles.
Now, I've uh, done a bit here, as you can see, all the time like this now. Looking a lot better already. I'm not going to go back down to complete bare metal. I'm going to leave it slightly pitted. Uh, the paint I'm using can be applied straight to rust. And I've done a bit along here as well. So it's a long way to go. I'm now going to take the frame off. So I can work on the bottom half. And um, yeah, that might, depending on how long the battery lasts, it's both my back wall. All four of my batteries are pretty much dead. So I'll probably do a bit off screen while I'm waiting to look for the batteries to um, recharge but yeah looking better ready I will keep going until the batteries run out though so let's get to taking this apart now that is like a 13 am I going to be right? 13? yeah oh. Pretty good. Twelve. No. Twelve volts, yeah. Alright. Now I'm not bothered about this pulling the cable out. The cable's already pulled out. Sure. And I'm going to be redoing that after anyway. Sure. Not really too fast about that. Too short to do this bar. Oh, I need that. No. I'm not too short to do this bar. This is galvanised, I believe, but it's starting to rust. So I may possibly just spray it white. I'm not too sure yet. I have to see what I, what I feel like later on. But now that's off, I can now start doing this.
to the boy side, right there, compared to the other side. Quite a remarkable difference, really. And, um, actually, I've gone back to a complete bare metal in some places, but it is quite pitted in other places. If I was to go back to bare metal, I'd be here for absolute days, so I'm not going to go back to bare metal, but at least get a good rough tree service and my paint will go straight onto it. So I've managed to remove the handles, so as you see them down, so the handles, the rubber handles, and just here, so I'll slide them back up around after, and look, look at that lovely white paint underneath, perfect, hopefully what it will look like when it's all done, look at that.
Right, I actually recorded, or started talking with action, click the record button, that is good. I've done the handle, it's all done now, so all I need to do now is give them a final rub down with some 40 grit sandpaper, and they will be ready for painting. So that will be good for we're getting there, but that will be in the next video. Now all I have to do is repair this switch. So, you've got a simple switch, it's not plugged in, so it doesn't matter. Push that down, and that pops out. So push the lever and that pops down and connects to the little two contacts. Now, we'd have to undo this little screw here. Let's turn on that, you might better see a bit better. Like so, I know it's not the best. I know it's not the best angle, but that's what I have to do. So we have to undo these two terminals. So we're just looking here. So the brown and brown on the bottom, blue and blue on top. That's simple. And to this toolkit right here. I don't know my face is in the shot, I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing. So, again, undo these little terminals right here. Try not to undo them too far and loose the screws. That would be game over, pretty much. So, they're that small. I don't think you'd find it very easily. Again, right. You can pull this tape off. Perfect. That's quite worn along here, so I'm going to get some flies, I think. And, um, actually, maybe not. But, um, oh dear. I think if I put that in there fully, that should be fine. And the cable inside isn't actually broken, it's just a little tear to the surface. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I know there'll be a few people screaming now saying, oh, don't do that, don't do that, but it's not actually that bad, it's just a uh, this sheath on the top. Now, the problem is, that's not grippy, really. That can just slide out. And obviously I don't want it to just slide out. But listen here a minute. Uh, got to visualize. Right, let me go back in here, like so. Switch. And you behave. Right, you go in there. Switch sits just about in there. And you go in there, like so. And now you should end just about now. If I pull that now. Oh, actually, yeah, and not in that, obviously, the wire clamp will be on there as well. So that'll hold the wires in. Yeah, I think that should be fine. So I'm going to get my wire cutters and strip it. Alright, so roughly about there. So I'm going to get a wire cutter right here. No, roughly about there. That should cut it partly. Cutting part of these aren't actually that good. They're a bit bent. But as long as we get that cut. And that one, that should strip them part of these, are fine. But 
just the cotton top. And that should be adequate to do this. Switch out. Turn it out again. Pull this up. Untangle the knees a little bit. Find the quick one where it just drags efficacy slightly. Nope. One more. That should do it. And again, don't look up too much. That's it for you. A bit more, I think. Perfect. That one. That looks perfect for me. If you can you know, drown in the bottom. Just easy to give it actually from equipment. And that might help doing this properly with might help with the intermittent switch issue. So I'll then come back again after. And just um strip that wire back a bit more. I know there's a few issues with this. Probably got a few cable issues as we've seen already. That was one that's done. Let's get the blue one in. So if you look guys I'm doing the but it's not really not hard to gap of what I'm doing. Perfect. Give it a little tug. Then it won't come out. Okay, so that's that really done. Yeah, you can do this yourself. It's not that hard, but make sure when you're doing stuff like this, the uh, plug is not plugged in. I thought you'd get a uh, lovely little surprise if it is. And it may not be the type of surprise you're after. I don't give you one, that's for sure. Alright, there we go, get this back in place. See the wires aren't going to hit. The wires aren't going to hit on um, the posts, they're clear. That is in. This goes in one way around as well. Make sure that it goes in the correct way. And then we're going to tighten it down. So, again, I've got to do apology for not showing you exactly, but again, it's not rocket science. And we'll show you that after as well. That is in. Perfect, so we now have two correctly positioned wires in here. So, switch there, a little bubble grommet, grommet. So, we can now put that in here and reassemble the switch. Make sure we get it positioned correctly. Tab that needs to go inside to stop that basically stop, stops you from switch and falling out. Keeps it under under pressure basically. It's done. We can go back in. Now you will need to move the switch if you slightly or the lever to get it to click into place properly. Now we have the bottom bit here, that's in, on your fingers so that will hurt, trap them. And this guy doesn't want to go in for some reason. Hmm, I wonder why that is. That little wheel. Yeah. Bit of a gentle persuasion. That's in, that's in. 
Right, you can now done. We're not going to do these two up, because they need to be done after, and that connects to the frame. But we are going to do these two ones up here. We don't need to open these up anymore now we've done that. So, now I'm not going for the most beautiful machine, but I'm going for a restoration what looks good and shows the machine is actually looked after. you exactly what I'm doing but I think you get the idea that I'm doing a screw up from any angle I think you can get the idea I'm doing that really not really rocket science perfect that's all done up and then this should still work yep now I would peak this but not really much point, I don't think. Right, the switch is done. That looks a lot better. And it doesn't have tape around it anymore. Now, there are a few locations here which do have tape around them. So I've got my soldering iron at the ready, just in case. Actually, we'll soon find out. I've got a new um, heat shrink as well, just in case I need The cable has been cut off. Oh, all oh, sticky. Right, I'm going to angle you and zoom you in a bit more. Just here, we have that some of the cables being cut. So actually the cable in the solar top that actually been penetrated. That's all good condition actually. But I don't like the idea of um isolation tape on the outside of the cable, so we're gonna redo this cable. Yeah, and yeah. Too late now. Right, that's done. Right, okay, we're back. I've done it correctly this time. I've not tinned the cables really. Nice little brown up. We're going to start with the blue wire. Around. Better. Right. Right. The shoulder wire. You want to make this quick. You don't be putting heat on too long off as you start melting the wire. And you'll be back to square one. Okay, that's better than before. Perfect. All right, and then the heat shrink. We're gonna hide over the oh, slide it over the hide over the top. Slide it over the top. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, that's fine. You don't necessarily need one. With um, the um, what's this thing called? This thing I'm holding. You gently uh, tap it over the top. This soldering line I'm holding. This is what I'm going to do. Hold it over the top. Keep doing it in all angles. And eventually that clamp is down. And 
use of the uh, heat gun would be better. I'm not uh, saying this is better for the job than a heat gun, but it does do the job perfectly. But I'm not an electrician, so I will add one thing quickly while I'm doing this. Do not copy with what, what I do in this video. And if you do, get your own risk. Okay, so that's been repaired again. I wouldn't say the best job in the world, but not the worst either. And it's a better repair than isolation tape that can fall off at any time. It would not be a slightly But if you do not copy me, I'm not professional, so if you copy me, you get your own risk and not mine. I still warned you, do not copy me. Now, for this part of the video, it's all done. I'm going to finish all the other repairs off, not the cable repairs off, off video. And on the next video, we're going to be washing that, well not washing it, just cleaning it, and painting the handles. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and if you like, actually subscribe, purpose to see this channel to grow. And the next video, you're going to see my handles being painted. So, hope, hope, you, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, trust me, you're going to work on back in the next video. Next frame,